Fun Zoners, today I thought I'd share with you guys a painting video I did recently of me painting a picture of Mr. Monster, and he's this little monster dude that I was trying to recreate, and this is little monster dude right there, um, and my friend found that on Google for me, said, hey, you should paint this, I was like, okay, so I started painting it, um, this is me starting it out. Um, as you can tell, the white is paint instead of it just being a plain canvas because I covered up an old painting with white paint and now I am covering up that white paint with a golden paint. And instead of just like using that golden paint for the um, base of covering up the old photo, I decided to do the white to make it much easier because that gold paint is really thin. So we've taken multiple layers just to cover up the old one. And yeah, this is how I'm doing it. Um, oh, I disappeared. And I'm back. And I'm sorry about this. Um, I was using one of um, an older camera from like, I don't know, 2000 something. Um, and it kept like making the thing yellow. But I upgraded to this one. It's the next day. I'm just setting up. I have to listen to music when I paint or else I don't focus. Um, and, and now I'm just starting out on the outline of Mr. Monster. I started coloring in the heart first. And then now here I am painting the outline. And when I mess up on painting, I go ahead and I just take a white, white rag. Oh, wet rag. And I just kind of like wipe down where I messed up. And you guys, and I, um, I changed the color up from Mr. Monster, my creation because um, because I just I thought it would look cooler and I thought it would look much better with the golden paint. So, yeah. Now here I am going in with the red paint. Um, yeah. Not really good at voiceovers if you couldn't tell. But I did red paint with the gold paint because I thought they worked really good together. And plus, I thought he might look cute as a little red monster. So, yeah. Um, it took forever to get that color. I was mixing, like, five different reds and, like, a few purples in with it to get that color. Um, it kind of looks like my headphones. And my headphones are huge. Um, they kind of stand out like a sore thumb. And, yeah. Yeah. And you guys are probably wondering what was up with my canvas there. Like, not my canvas, my easel. Um, it's broken. <laughs> yeah. The top part broke off one time, and I was really sad. And here I am painting the eyes of my little Mr. Monster. I wait in between um, drying sessions to do that. Um, there's his little mouth. Here I am changing the song that I'm listening to. Yeah, because you guys care about that. It took forever to color in those eyes and there I am using a blow dryer to kind of speed up the drying process of the eyes so like when I paint again with that red paint I won't accidentally mix in the white paint with the red so yeah that's why I used that blow dryer I do probably like multiple layers of that red paint throughout the entire video because it just kind of was ending up smeary. I think one of my, I used like two different brands of paint and one of them was a little bit more watery than the other one. So it just kind of took forever. And here I am painting in circles again. I messed up on the eyes a lot because I'm very, I'm a perfectionist so I kept trying to get perfect circles. Of course, you can't get that. Especially if you're me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I kept trying. I kept messing up. And I kept using red paint to fix it. So. It was fixing my flaws. Red paint was fixing my flaws of Mr. Monster. And yeah. There we go. Just clearing, finishing up the little area. Really trying hard to make that a perfect circle. Obviously not working. So I'm pretty sure I give up after that. And I'm just like, we're just going to leave it. I am answering a text message, if you guys care. And now we're just going in with another coat of black paint on the heart. And we're just adding in a little drippy drippy effect. And now we're just outlining him again. 
making it so the lines are more defined. Coloring in his mouth some more. Fixing up his mouth a bit. Outlining the eyes with black paint. And I turn it over on its side because it's much easier for me to get that perfect circle if I turn it over. I don't know why, but it is. And here I am adding in the pupil of the eye. Little Mr. Monster. And now I'm outlining the outside of Mr. Monster, making it so he's more defined around the edges. Showing his outer beauty, because everyone has outer and inner beauty. Well, I got deep for no reason. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, outlining again. Making the lines a little bit thicker, because they're kind of thick in the picture. I'm adding more lines to the wonderful outline of him. Adding in little details here and there. And when I paint, I get really messy because I'm very hands-on about my painting. So, like, I always have to, like, shower afterwards because somehow I always end up with paint on my face. Um, only I can do that. And, yeah. So, I get very messy because, as you can see, I'm using my fingers to kind of clean up edges. So, my hands get all messy. And then sometimes after, like, I use my hands to like clean up and here I am hanging up the photo and hanging it up struggling trying to find the right place to put it and showing it off I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later bye friends owners oh watch me draw oh watch me paint paint Oh, watch me draw, draw, watch me paint, paint. God, I'm weird. <laughs>